guys, today we're going to be talking about my top 5 sneaker targets for June 2017. Tune in! Hey guys, welcome to Casa Station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe, and if you're here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and even that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. So what you've all been waiting for, my top five sneaker targets for June 2017. So guys, I'll be listing these sneakers from number five to number one. Number five means I don't like it as much as number one, but I do like all five of these sneakers. In addition, in addition to that, I'm going to be bringing you the ugly sneaker release for June 2017 in my own opinion. So let's get straight into it guys. Five is the Nike PG1 aka Paul George 1 in the pure platinum colorway. Guys, I've been waiting to get this shoe for a very long time, but I've just been waiting for the right colorway. The very first one that came out that was black and also had the iridescent Nike swoosh on there or the 3M on there was amazing but I have a lot of black sneakers already and I didn't think it was worth it to purchase that particular shoe but this one is totally different it came with a gray colorway if you guys don't know already gray is my favorite color and in addition to that it has great design and texture from what I see from the pictures at least in regards to the fish scales that are the gray leatherish or I don't even know if it's leather from the pictures but it looks a little bit softer maybe it's new book but anyways it looks really nice and in addition to that it has 3M on the swoosh and last but not least it has great gum bottoms I love gum bottoms if you guys don't know me already and adding that to a gray shoe is just perfect in my opinion so I'll definitely be targeting this shoe in June 2017. Four. So number four on my list is the New Balance 997 times Stance Pack, AKA the First of All Pack. I like this pack a lot because of the color combination. It has the aesthetics of, you know, Boston and the red colors and their architecture combined with that of the West Coast, California, San Clemente, the ocean, the sand, etc., etc. So you have that tan and you also have that blue colorway infused into the sneaker. And I think the combination of colors brings this sneaker together very nicely. The one downfall of this sneaker is that it's too freaking expensive 240 bucks come on man the first of all pack does come with a pair of stance socks I love stance socks most of my socks are actually stance socks but it still does not justify the $240 price point New Balance I know that you guys use the best quality possible when it comes to your sneakers be it the leather be it the suede etc etc but guys it's too expensive three so number three on my list that I'm targeting for June 2017 is the Adidas Ultra Boost 3.0 in the triple black colorway. The reason I am targeting these particular pair of sneakers is that I've needed them for work, given that my Adidas Anikis have been ran into the ground and also my Adidas Ultra Boost 3.0s have been ran into the ground. And what other sneaker can you wear when it comes to being on your feet for hours and hours and hours at work. The Ultra Boost, at least for me. They're very comfortable and everybody says that and everybody knows that, but I just need a re-up on these Adidas Ultra Boost 3.0s. Lastly, with these triple black 3.0 Adidas Ultra Boost, you'll see a slight difference at the heel cup, which comes with a matte textured finish and also it is a little rough. So that will be interesting to see as well. Two. Open. Chicago with the lead. So number two on my list is the Jordan DNP pack, which consists of the Air Jordan 13 and the Air Jordan 14. Guys, have you seen the leather? I'm not even a big fan of Air Jordan 13s and Air Jordan 14s, but look at these. First of all, they're immaculate at least from the pictures, you know, they look really plush from the pictures. In addition to that, it goes back to being very reminiscent of the day Jordan destroyed the Utah Jazz and ended their season and won number six, championship number six in the NBA finals in 1998. 
purely amazing guys and it's really nostalgic and it's a nice shoe to have in my that I want to have at least in my collection we'll see if you know what popular belief is when it comes to the sneakers maybe the $500 price point will chase people away but this is a piece of history to me so I'm gonna be going after them definitely one and my number one target for June 2017 when it comes to sneakers is the black and royal Air Jordan 4s. Man oh man, I must be a leather fiend, but by looking at the pictures again, the leather looks really tumbled, it looks really plush, and I'm eager to get my hands on those ones. You guys might disagree with me what number one is for June, but that is my number one. When it comes to sneakers, Air Jordans especially, Air Jordan 1 is my number 1, Air Jordan 3 is my number 2, and Air Jordan 4 is my number 3 sneaker when it comes to Air Jordans. So I have to get these ones. I love them, they like the look of the colors, and you know, it's just like the bread 4s, but just it has royal in them, you know? It's just like the relationship that Air Jordan 1 has with the, you know, royal ones and the bread ones. Same difference, different uh, silhouette of sneaker, and I love it. I'm gonna get it, and hopefully I could cop at least two in this particular case. So let me know what you guys think is your top five targets for June 2017 when it comes to sneakers down in the comment section below. Ugly sneaker of the month goes to... You didn't think I forgot, did you? Of course not. Ugly sneaker for June 2017, the Yeezy Calabasas. I know it's not a first release, but it's a restock, and I can't believe, well, maybe it's because, you know, it sucks so bad, they're releasing again. I don't know the rationale that Adidas has right now, but anyways, those Yeezy Calabasas are ugly to me. Like, they're not worth the price, they're not, you know, worth purchasing, and they're overrated, and just because it has Yeezy on it doesn't mean that it's always the great shoe, guys. So try to avoid that. In my personal opinion, you should avoid that, but, you know, to each his own, everyone likes different things, fair enough. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this top 5 sneaker targets for June 2017 that I provided for you. If you did, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that notification button, and I'll see you guys next time on the next episode of Casa Station. Thank you all, I appreciate you guys. Deuces.